Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming and today you join me for another Forzathon guide which is where I show you guys the quickest and easiest ways to complete this week's Forzathon challenge. Now this one called the journey not the destination wants you to use any GT car of your choice to complete the challenges. So first of all we're heading into our cars and we're taking a look at what GT cars we've got. Now just make sure you don't select Super GT because that won't count, it has to be just plain old GT cars. Now there's not a ton of them to pick from, there is a nice enough selection, um, but I went for the Alfa Romeo 8C uh, Forza Edition. I have got a tune for it, it's called Fastest Lap Time, I don't know why it's called that but it is, it's an old enough tune. And the share code is 303-669-450 uh, and if anyone wants the livery, the share code for that is 125-312-625, just in case you guys want that. Now, the first challenge here just wants you to win two street scene events, which is super, super easy. So first of all, we're just filtering the map to show our, what street scene events we have available. Now, the one that I always use is the Bath and Gate street scene event, but you can use whichever one you want. You can do two different ones or the same one twice as I do, and you can do it on whatever difficulty you want as well. Remember, this is only a Forzathon event. It's not a festival playlist challenge. So you don't have to do it on a minimum of highly skilled driver tar difficulty. You can do it on amateur or expert. It's entirely down to yourself at the end of the day. But it's a nice and easy challenge to get started off with for this week. So like I said, you've just got to win two of them. And you can use any GT car you want. I would recommend tuning it just so you can get the races over and done with a bit quicker. But one of the fastest ones I find is this Bath and Gate. It only takes about two and a half to three minutes something like that so nice easy first challenge now the next one wants you to earn a total of one million skill score now this is again really easy but it's a bit more time consuming now the first thing i would recommend doing is heading over to the car mastery tab and buying out as many of the skill perks as you can because they will definitely help you sort of rack up skill points faster which in turn will obviously save a lot of time now, then I would recommend heading over to the Greendale Airstrip. This is where I always do the skill score challenges, mainly because there's a lot of stuff to smash into, loads of jumps, you know, you can get all sorts of skills over here and it's really easy to do. Now, the good thing about this challenge is you don't have to do it in one shot. So you could do it over the course of a weekend or a week. It really doesn't matter. It's entirely down to yourself. Obviously, you want to probably get it done fairly quick just to get it out of the way. Um, now, Obviously, if you want to do it in one shot, you'll need a skill score of 200,000 multiplied by 5 unless you've got a perk that increases that to times 6. But also, if you are lucky enough to come across a skill song, then that multiplies it by 10 or by 12 if your car has the times 6 multiplier perk brought out. So as you can see here, I managed to come across a skill song, so I had to skip a big sort of chunk of the actual gameplay there so I don't get any copyright infringements. But as soon as the skill song was over, I could turn the radio off and show you here. So all I needed then was a skill score of 100,000 times by 10, which then got me the million points. So super, super easy. But again, if you're struggling with anything, just let me know in the comments. Now for the third and final challenge here. So all it wants you to do is rack up a total of 15 miles in your GT car. Now, as usual with a challenge like this, I always head over to the motorway. The reason being is because you can get this challenge done so, so quick just by driving flat out. So it'll probably only take about two to three lengths uh, overall of the highway, but it will be done super quick. Now you can obviously keep track of your progress by either going into cockpit view and it will be racking up in the uh, odometer there or you can just hop on to the actual challenge itself and it'll tell you how many miles you've done out of the 15 but it'll probably only take you about five minutes or so which compared to the previous challenge is literally nothing um, so it's a nice and easy final challenge to finish off with although having said that it's not really too much of a challenge it's just more of a task something to do um but anyway like i said if you are struggling with anything please do let me know down below in the comments it doesn't even have to be about this forzathon it doesn't bother me i'm always happy to help you guys out as best i can if this video did help you out as well i would massively appreciate if you could drop a like and if you're new to the channel subscribing helps me out as well but apart from that folks i want to wish you all the best make sure you stay safe and take care